Welcome back, everybody, to the Montana State Bobcat Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. Today, we have our fourth bowl game of the series, and this time we're going to be taking on the Memphis Tigers. Michael Stanford, their quarterback, he had himself a pretty good season. They're running back over 800 yards and about four touchdowns. They have Jeff McCoy as their number one receiver, and he put up a, some some big numbers this year 1300 yards 11 touchdowns averaging 14 yards per reception their offensive line isn't great though jackson leads the team in tackles he has 68 of them they've gotten into the backfield a lot this season though as you can see there are five players with double digit tfls they also have a good number of sacks and interceptions this year as I said, this is going to be our fourth bowl game of the series. We are currently 0-3 in bowl games. Last year, we lost to Maryland. We were ranked for that game. That was the first game we went, we went into ever being ranked. We spent a good chunk of this season being ranked, and we are number 22 going into this game now. And once again, just like last season, we are technically favorites, but is that a result of us playing inside of the Big Sky Conference? We did defeat some good teams this season, like like Wisconsin and so this is going to be a true test to see how good we really are this season we're going to be starting off with the football running it on first down Robinson goes nowhere Stevens to throw for the first time today dumping it off in the flat to Johnson and the fullback will lose two yards now on third down Stevens is flushed to his right he's going to stop and try to fire downfield he had Martin Anderson open but he couldn't get the pass off in time Fourth and 17, and the Bobcats go three and out. After a solid punt return, the Tigers have the football in Bobcat territory to start off the, their first drive today. Stanford's going to take off and run, tripped up after picking up a gain of eight. Stanford looking to throw the ball now, firing to the left side. He's got Jeff McCoy, the impact receiver, making the catch and moving the chains. Now he's going to dump it off in the flat to his other impact receiver. That's Calvin Thomas with a gain of eight. Play fake now. Stanford's going to throw it back to his running back who turns it upfield and gets brought down inside of the five-yard line. Nice reception made there by Johnson. Goal to go at the two. Now they're going to give it to Johnson and he's going to be untouched for the Memphis touchdown. They just really drove downfield. Their defense gave them no problems really there and just with ease, they take the lead. Okay, so we can't afford to go three and out again. Stevens firing to the left side. He has his first, or actually I guess his second completion of the day. His first completion that gets positive yardage. Larry Land on the left side there with the first down. Now Stevens to run the football, and he's going to pick up about 7 or 8 yards there. We're going to give it to Vince Robinson, and he's going to be going backwards, setting up third down and 5. Stevens throws quickly on the slant route there. Larry Lane with the reception and the third down conversion. That's Stevens' third consecutive completion now. Make it four consecutive completions. Martin Anderson in the flat, turning it upfield, picking up roughly 15 yards. Now Vince Robinson takes this one right up the middle. His best run of the game picks up eight. Into the second quarter already. Stevens under some pressure. He gets it out to Ben Collins. The tight end making a great catch there down at the 11-yard line. Now Stevens rolling to his right. Gets away from the first defender and is still brought down in the backfield as the pressure just got there immediately. The bad offensive line play continues. Loss of 16 on first down, and on second down, we fire over the middle, and somehow that pass is not going to be completed. Third and a mile now, Stevens fires to the left, looking for Larry Lane, but the pass is going to be broken up by Madison. We are in long field goal range for Jason McMillan. This will be officially from 44 yards out, and he's going to get Montana State on the board. Memphis going five wide to start off this next drive over the middle. The pass is off the mark and incomplete. On second down, it's going to be a direct snap to the running back. Maurice Johnson takes it to the left side, and that's going to pick up a gain of about seven. They are one of the best teams on third down this season, number eight in the nation, in fact. Can they convert here, though? No, they cannot, as Stanford overthrows his man, and now Memphis goes three and out. 
The Bob gets us some solid field position for this next drive. Robinson with the catch, picking up about three or four yards. Make it actually six. He picked up way more than I thought he did there. Now he's going to run the football and once again going backwards outside of that one carry that picked up eight. He's been going backwards today. Now Stevens is going to be picked off by Thompson trying to hit the slant route to Larry Lane again but this time it was not open. He learned from his mistake last time. That's going to be a turnover the first of the game. So Memphis's offense is going to take over. Stanford's going to run this one right up the middle. Nice spin move and that's going to get them into Bobcat territories. Thomas Spicer did punish him after he moved the chains but he held onto the ball there. Stanford dropping back to throw. He's got some time firing downfield to the right. Nearly picked off by Anthony Ross, but nearly doesn't count. Second and 10 now after the incomplete pass. It's going to be going into the flat and knocked away. Third and 10 for the Tigers. Stanford once again wants to throw the football. Airing this one out deep and it's going to be off the mark. Incomplete and the defense will force another punt. Montana State sends the block in there, not going to get it. Brown waves for the fair catch at the 10-yard line, but hold up. There's a flag on the play. We tried to block the punt. It didn't work. In fact, we ran into the kicker. It's going to be fourth and five, and Memphis is going to go for this now. Stanford fires downfield, and he's got his man. It's Jeff McCoy downfield. His name keeps screwing me up because it's spelled G-E-O-F-F, -F, but it's pronounced Jeff. I keep wanting to call him like Goff or something. He comes up with a big catch there on fourth down. Speaking of Jeff McCoy, he's in the end zone now as they got down inside of the red zone and, and into a goal-to-go situation. And they're going to take full advantage of that penalty. We give up the fourth down conversion, and then they very quickly turn that into six. All right, Montana State cannot afford to be down by a lot. We saw this play out last year against Maryland. Let's not have it uh, happen to us again. Stevens is going to dump it off to his running back, and Robinson had the ball just bounce right off of him. Third and short, Stevens rolling to his right, trying to throw on the move, but the pressure just forced a weird incomplete pass there, and Memphis will have some solid field position to try to put together a two-minute drill. Johnson in the flat with the catch. He cuts it back inside, picking up a gain of six, and the Tigers will use a timeout. Now going five wide, Stanford fires over the middle for Tyson. That's going to get him out to the 31-yard line. We have five hurries so far today, but yet to get a sack thus far. Tyson now with the, uh, the little pitch out, he's going to carry that one for a gain of seven. Memphis goes hurry up, and now Stanford's going to keep this one, picking up a first down. He gets out to the 20. Once again, Memphis is going to hurry things up, pitching this one out to Tyson to the right side, and he's going to pick up the first down. Goal to go now for Memphis, who once again goes hurry up. Another pitch out to Tyson. They're just basically calling the same play on this drive, and it's working for him so far. Second and goal, faking the pitch. Stanford's in for the Memphis touchdown, their third of the game, extending the lead and calling the same play for a good chunk of that drive. That's going to take us to halftime where Montana State's down by 18. And to make matters worse, they have the football to start off the second half now. Our defense cannot allow a touchdown. We can't afford to be down 28-3 to in a bowl game. I doubt our offense will be able to come back from a 25-point deficit, although we have done similar things in the past, even this season. Well, they're moving the ball quite nicely on this drive. It's another carry for Maurice Johnson, and he has a first down. Nearing midfield now. Stanford's going to take the snap, try to dump it off, but the pass was going to be picked. Thomas Spicer jumped it, and he's going to return it to the 35-yard line as uh, uh, Michael Stanford just trying to dump it off in the flat there, but that really bit him in the butt as he threw it directly to Thomas Spicer, who came away with the big-time interception. Spicer's really been an underrated player, I feel like, in this series. He's a low overall, but he's come up with some big interceptions the past few seasons. All right, so the offense has got to take full advantage of this turnover, and we're not doing it on first down at least, as Stevens is going to be sacked for the second time today, this time for a loss of nine. Now going five wide, he's pressured, and that's going to force a bad throw, which gets knocked away. We're just two for six so far on third down. 
firing over the middle and it's right off of the hands of Martin Anderson. You have to come down with that catch on third and long. We're not going to be going for it on fourth down there and we're going to have to punt. A near interception for Thomas Spicer there, but that's not going to count as one, of course. Now on third down, airing this one out to the right side. And Jeff Moore, actually that's not Jeff Moore, that's Ann, or Kyle Moore. I'm getting my receivers confused here from Memphis. Kyle Moore with his first big catch of the game. He takes it 81 yards to the house. We got them in a third down situation trying to force a three and out. But instead Moore just absolutely embarrasses our defense and Chris Bonner specifically there. And now we do indeed find ourselves down by 25. Trying to dump it off in the flat there to Ben Collins, and he's unable to come down with it. Stevens, under some pressure, trying to navigate the pocket, and he's going to be sacked again. That's the second time Brown's gotten to him. Third and long now. Stevens wants to throw, moving to Hazel right, and he's got an open running lane. He hasn't done a whole lot of this today, but he's going to do it here, diving for the first down, keeping this drive and really this game alive at this point. Stevens firing over the middle, and that was just a bad, inaccurate throw looking for Larry Lane. Here's a high snap on second down. A quick throw intended for Curtis Brown, but really just not the best read or throw. On third down, Stevens fires to the right, and his pass will be broken up. Fourth and ten. We're keeping the offense on the field. Stevens looking to throw. He's under some pressure. Off his back foot and right off of the hands of Curtis Brown. Once again, Stevens receivers letting him down, but he's not always putting them in the best situations to begin with. How about this defense, though, still trying to, you know, keep us in the game. Pat Hadley getting our first sack today. Second and long, Stanford fires in the flat and is going to be picked off. James Green with our second interception today. Great job jumping that pass. I mean, he wasn't even really jumped. It was just thrown directly to him. And now we absolutely have to take advantage of the turnover. Nice catch there, Martin Anderson turning on the wheels here and he gets brought down inside of the 20. Big catch and run for Martin Anderson who, you know, he's just been a huge breakout season. He's, he's continuing to do that in this game. If he was just a little bit faster, that could have gone for six. Less than a minute left to go in the third quarter. Stevens is going for six or trying to at least. Intended for Martin Anderson, but the pass is going to be broken up. Now Stevens fires to the left side, and that was just an ugly pass. Larry Lane did not have any kind of a chance at bringing that one in. On third down, Stevens is going to be dropped as the defender just came in unblocked there. Fourth down and 20. We're going to bring out Jason McMillan for the field goal to make it a 22-point game. That way, uh, you know, hypothetically, we can get three touchdowns, one of them coming with a two-point conversion, and we can tie the game up. Stanford now firing to the left side. He's got Harris wide open as he found the hole in the zone. And that's going to put Michael Stanford exactly on 200 yards passing today. Here's the last play of the quarter. Nice job there by Chris Bonner breaking that one up. All right, we've got one quarter to cut on this 22-point deficit. Toss play for Maurice Johnson to the right, and he's going to pick up about four yards. Defense has got to get a stop on third down. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Could have been picked by uh, Eugene. It wasn't, but you know what? I'm going to take the, the stop there that they gave us. This pass is going to be floated over the middle. And it's going to be picked off by Crowder. Looking for Curtis Brown. Trying to get him deep here using his speed. But really just not a good idea throwing it into just a group of defenders there. And very quickly, Memphis will take back over. And to make matters worse for the offense, I mean the defense, whatever, it's just not going well so far today. We have negative seven rushing yards as you just saw there. Uh, we do get a sack on this play and Stanford's actually going to have to come out of the game. He got a little rattled there. So White is in the game on second and 16. He's looking to throw. He's got his man in the flat, Jackson. That's going to pick up about five yards. And Stanford's back in the game on 3rd and 10 looking for this crucial conversion. And he's got Jeff McCoy moving the chains. And every first down that Memphis gets is just a first down closer to, you know, wrapping up this game for them. Johnson's going to get this carry right up the middle. And he's in for another Memphis touchdown. The defense definitely struggling to get a stop here. He just fought his way all the way to the end zone. I mean, that wasn't like a given touchdown. The defense just... Kind of, I guess they kind of did give it to him, but just not good defense whatsoever on that drive. 
we're pinned pretty far back in our own territory now, and it just all seems to be for naught. Fourth down now. Stevens looking to pass for the fourth straight time, firing over the middle. Bobbled and caught by Martin Anderson, and at least there's just a little flicker of hope left for us. A big fourth down conversion deep on our own territory, and Martin Anderson just really playing really well in this bowl game. One of the few players that seems to be doing that today. Taking a shot for Ben Collins, but there are four blue jerseys in the area, and yeah, we really just didn't have a chance there. Less than two minutes to go in the game. Stevens surveying the field, firing back across his body for Anderson, making the catch at the 30-yard line. There's also a Memphis defender a little shaken up there. Stevens wants to throw the football again. He's going to float this to the left side for Lane, who reaches out, hauls it in for a 28-yard touchdown. Beautiful throw and catch. Granted, it is in garbage time, but this Larry to Larry connection has really developed this season. Going for two now. Stevens wants to throw or maybe run. Uh, he wasn't really sure what he wanted to do there. Plus, there was holding on the play, which isn't going to matter. Jason McMillan is going to attempt the onside kick. It bounces up into the air. Doesn't look like anyone's recovered the football yet. It's just in the crowd of just everyone. Now, finally, it breaks out loose. And Aaron Martin jumps on top of it for Montana State. I've never seen this happen before with an onside kick. I guess it was just on top of everybody's helmet there. But you know what? We recovered it, so I'm going to take it. Can we at least get some more garbage time points and yards? And I mean, if we can pull off a couple more onside kicks like that and score very quickly, maybe we'll have a chance. Just a minute 20 left to go now. Stevens is going to float this one to the left side. Right in the bread basket for Larry Lane. Another big catch for him. That gets him up to 77 yards today. Stevens floating this one to the corner for Curtis Brown. And it's right off of his hands. He should have had a touchdown there. Montana State going five wide now, firing to the left side, and I guess that was kind of in the area for Martin Anderson, but, I mean, uncatchable for anyone at all whatsoever. Now Stevens firing over the middle, looking for Anderson again. That was a little bit more catchable. Well, going for it on fourth down because, you know, we've kind of got to, and that was just another bad throw from Larry Stevens. That's going to be a turnover on downs. Memphis will just run out the clock, and Montana State falls to 0-4 in bowl games. And I feel like, once again, just like last season, we were really exposed. I really think we benefit from playing inside of the Big Sky Conference. You know, we got competition that's little bit more on our level I'd say we're better than a lot of our competition inside of our conference and then we get matched up with these big schools sometimes it works out like it did against Wisconsin that was a really good game which I think I think showed how good we could have been this season but man things just really fell apart of course those two losses inside of the conference cost us the conference title really and then this game here we were just purely dominated by Memphis and that just shows we still have a long way to go in this series if we want to compete for any kind of a title uh, I want to go all in on the offseason this year. Just, you know, it, it could be Larry Stevens last season, potentially, especially if he puts up a good year and heads to the NFL. Who knows? So next year, we got to go all in, try to go undefeated and somehow try to get a title. Well, there were a couple other teams inside of the conference with a win there. Uh, Portland State ended up losing their bowl game. Virginia dominates Sacramento State here, who really fell off at the end of the season as well. And then Idaho will defeat BYU in a high-scoring 41-38 game. And that will wrap up this video. Thank you all for watching. If you're not already subscribed, that would be appreciated if you did and left a like on the video. But until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.